Hi, I'm Shai from Intertrade, and I'm going to take you through a tour of our platform today. So let's get started. Um, our platform is very simple to use, and, and it's just bit out of seven different sections. I'm going to take you just through each section now one by one. Um, the first one is here on top, where you have the ability to do all the administrative action, like crediting your account, withdrawing funds, managing the data feeds, uh, learn more about the product offering and our capabilities. The second section is choosing the asset class you're looking to use. Is it a spread bet or a CFD? If you have a joint account, if you have only one asset class in your account, you would only see that one. And the next area is the main navigation, where you can choose which type of market you're looking to engage in. Uh, we have the indices, which include the main indices from worldwide. You can focus on UK indices, European, American, world indices, as well as the differentials. We have FX, where we uh, split it into the major FX pairs, the minor FX pairs, as well as the minors. Then it's followed by shares, where we have a large variety of shares from around the world, including the FTSE 100, FTSE 250, FTSE 350, the DAX, MDAX, uh, the US NASDAQ, S&P 500, Dow Jones, as well as other European uh, countries like France, Holland, Spain, Sweden, Norway. Uh, on the commodity side, we break it down into the energy markets, oil, carbon, gas oil, heating oil, natural gas. We have within the commodities, we have the metals like gold, silver, uh, platinum, and copper. And last, we have the soft commodities, um, cotton, orange juice, soya beans, cocoa, coffee, wheat, sugar. Um, the last asset class is are the bonds and interest rates. So we have the bond market. In the bond market we have the bubble, the guild, the shots, the bond, as well as US treasury bills. And within interest rates, it's just short-term interest rates. So we have the Euribor, uh, short sterling, as well as the Swiss and Euro Swiss. So the short, actually short Swiss Swiss Euro Swiss. We also allow you to view the popular markets, which are the markets that generate the most amount of volume today, as well as allowing you to create your own personal portfolio. Um, adding a, an instrument to your portfolio is very simple. All you need to go is to go to that instrument, click on the, on the plus star, and it will immediately appear in my portfolio section of your, on the platform. The next section is where you manage your open positions, closed position, and history. So here we have open positions, uh, trade history, your order book, which are pending orders, and also you can view, review all your account transactions. To make it more interesting, let's just try and, and open a position, and then you can also we can do it to, to the fourth section of our website. If you go now on gold and we click on trade, it will immediately open a trading ticket. The trading ticket has the buy button and the sell button. So let's say I'm trading gold and gold is now just below the 1400 level and I'm actually bullish I think gold will actually recover. Once I click on it, as you can see trading is instantaneous, your position is now open. I will click on done. I want to close the trading ticket so you can see it. Now as you can see on the platform itself, you can see that we have an open position gold spread betting the, the time it was opened the size the level it was opened in the current level and my current pnl in the market as i've set also pending orders and correlated orders then you can see that i have an associated order which is a stop size one and it is a stop order where the level is 135.4 and I also have a limit order, which is my take profit, at 1409.4. From here, you can amend the orders in any form or way you want. You can trail your stop up, trail your stop down. You can turn it into a guaranteed stop by paying a premium. You can turn it into a trailing stop. Uh, there's uh, quite a variety of different modifications you can make to your order once you've opened your position. In your order book, what we've looked at now are the working orders, but you can also look at 
past executed orders if there has been and also all the cancelled orders that you've had in your account. Um, another part is looking at all account transactions and then just show you the round trip of a transaction. You just, once you've closed the position then it will appear in your account transaction. The trade history tab is, is a bit different because that shows you each leg of the trade, the buy or the sell, the open and the close one by one. So it does depend on what exactly you're trying to achieve when you're uh, reviewing your data and just choose the right type. The next part of the platform is the top level information, your account number, which is a number that we, you should quote every time you contact our support, your open profit and loss, your current valuations, which include your balance, plus minus your open PL and trading resources, which are your account valuation, take away the margin being held as collateral against your current open positions. So this is how much money you have left you can use to trade with or how much money you can use to withdraw from your account. The next section, which I think is the most interesting section, because so far we've been talking about only about execution of trades. Now, you need to decide how to make a decision first. So you need to take a view in the market. And this is where we come in with the added value. The added value includes um, Live Squawk. Live Squawk is a, a professional news commentator who will just stream through you with voice all the news that are happening in the market right now. So you know at any point in time you are on top of what's happening. They don't just tell you what's happening in the market, they would usually be the first one to tell you why it's happening, which is more important. The fact that euro dollar is, is, is falling doesn't really help you. Why is it falling and what may happen after that is what can help you make a better decision in your trading. The daily market brief is a brief that we issue every morning. It gives you the, the levels in the market, what has happened, some commentary. So just to make sure you're up to date before you open your trading session for today. Our economic calendar allows you to see uh, upcoming economic events and also previous economic events to see what was the result of that economic event. And we always compare it versus the consensus and, how, and what was the real figure that was hit, as well as analysis on what may be the impact of that figure on, on the market. Um, for those of you who don't like to read, we also have the market update video. We can just listen to the latest market commentary. If you want to look in more detail into a platform guide, we also have a platform guide and how to place trades and orders. It's all very well articulated in our video. The next section within the added value is our analysis section. On analysis section, we have the technical analysis section, which is supported by Trading Central. We have fundamental analysis section, as well as heat maps and detailed analysis on FX. We strongly support the education of our customers, so we do have the education tab in our, on our platform, and then you can see all the upcoming webinars as well as previous webcasts and access our learning academy. So we've just looked at our, the UK, the FTSE 100 chart. Um, the chart is very flexible. First of all, you can control the time frame. So everywhere from a tick by tick and up to a, a, a monthly chart. Uh, you can control here the settings. In the settings area, you can create different overlays. Uh, open plus and cross plus, you know, are concerned, but on top of that, you can add different indicators. And as you can see, there's quite a few indicators there. For example, you can configure the MACD. So we have the MACD, which is moving average convergence divergence, uh, which is an an oscillator that allows you to assess the momentum in the current momentum in the market. Very, very common. So we've just added it. You can see it now on the on the chart. The MACD includes two lines. You have the MACD line and you have the signal line. Usually what you will be looking for is the MACD and the signal line to cross over or under each other, as well look at the, as the MACD line crossing over or under the zero line. So this would be usually um, indicator, indication that the market may be shifting momentum. So people are looking usually for reversal points and MACD helps you to identify these potential reversal points in the market. Uh, you can change your setting. You can see we have candlestick charts, uh, bordered candles, area, 
hiking ashi candles. There's a lot of variety there. How long, what is the time span you're looking on the chart? What is the size, what is each candle representing a week, a day, a month, a, a tick? And just, you know, just save your settings. Uh, these are the basic functionalities, but of course we have more advanced functionalities. Uh, you can, you know, draw horizontal trend lines if you want to put in support and resistance line. You can create trend lines. So if you want something that you know, goes from one place to another. Uh, within, at Interjet, we also offer an advanced charting package, which is better than the current simple charting package that is offered by everyone. Other providers offer the same charting package, but usually charge money for it. We provide it to all our customers for free. So uh, if you remember, we just opened a, a long gold position about a couple of minutes ago. It's already in the money. We can just click here and close, close it, complete it, and without, without even trying to make money, we've just made 23 quid. Not bad.